already cut out all my fabric pieces, my sleeves as you can see in the video. Then my front pieces I cut two and I added my seam allowance at the, at the center front and also at the, at the shoulders and the hem. And for my back pieces I added zip zip allowance and my shoulder and armhole and also for my lining so for the lining I did not cut the front exactly the same way that's the twist pattern no I cut it like the basic um, bodice so before you start your slash and spread you're going to cut the front pattern um, lining first of all before you um, do your slash and spread so now we have our front pieces so for the center front I'm going to stitch from the waist to where my slit would start so you can measure where your slit would start you can do um, from the knee line then um, you can stop your or you can start your slit there and that will be perfect so I'm pinning from the waist line to the knee line that is where my slit would start So after I stitch that um, seam, I'm going to kind of pleat one side of the center front and I will also pleat the other side, then I will pin. Then I'm going to twist it twice. That is why it's called the front twist. twist. Twist that twice and make sure the armhole is facing the sides. Perfect. Then now we can stitch that to um, kind of dart together. Now for the back piece, the center back, we're going to stitch um, the center back, leaving um, some centimeters for the zipper. So do not stitch all the way on the center back, just leave about 9 inches for the zipper. Then stitch all the way to the end because we do not have any slit on the center back. Now it's time to stitch our shoulder um, seam and our side seams. So now you can put them together so that we could stitch our side seams and shoulder seams.
now we're just gonna stitch the side seam making sure you stitch curve on the knee line to get that nice effect on for the mermaid and stitch the shoulder seam do not forget and now um we're gonna go to the lining the same way we did the um, main fabric we're gonna do the lining first of all this is the center front i'm gonna stitch all the way so i'm going to measure the slit length that i use for the main fabric center front and that was about 22 inches so i'm going to mark it for the lining then i'll cut that part away because i don't want my lining to show when i'm wearing the dress so you can still tuck that in, you can sew it and tuck that in where I don't want to go through that process. This is just what I want to do so that it cannot um, come out when I'm wearing the dress. So I'm just going to stitch that part. So this is the center front and for the center back. We're just going to leave a portion for the zip, then sew all the way down. I stitched the boss that the side seams the shoulder seams everywhere is being stitched now it's time to join the lining to the fabric so now I would put right sides facing right sides right side of the main fabric facing the right side of the lining starting with the neckline I would stitch the neckline of the main fabric and the um, lining together making sure I match the seams together or match the shoulder seams together and I will pin then stitch guys this is a very easy um, tutorial you just need a lot of techniques um, a lot of techniques was um, needed on this tutorial if you have any question let me know in the comment section and don't forget to like comment and subscribe that will go a long way on this tutorial thank you so much for watching so far So I already stitched the necklines and I top stitch um, on the lining or I under stitched on the lining so that the lining will stay inside the dress and not coming out when I wear it. So when you wear the dress and the pleat is not um, looking nice at the um, hip part you can just split and unstitch it so that it looks very nice and that's what I did. I fitted this dress at this point and it looks very good. It's just that part you can see on the video 
I just give it some pleats after and I hand stitch it so that it can look nice and not swelling in a way. So now it's time to add my zips. So I fuse the zipper area so that um, it can stay um, well and so that it can be stable. The zipper um, area can be stable. I was, I was supposed to use like a black interfacing but I did not have it around the house so this was the only one available. So I um, insert this my zipper. And guys, we are almost done. This dress looks so nice on me. I wore it to an event and I got a lot of compliments. And what I did was that I used just one sleeve and I did like a beaded um, dropping sleeve on the other um, hand, on the other sleeve. So it was very, very nice. I was like, hmm, something just came to my mind at the middle of the night. I was like, you know, let me just do something different. I do not want the same sleep on both hands not that i did not have enough fabric <laughs> i did have enough fabric but if you don't have enough fabric that can be something you can look um look to do now I inserted my sleeve and I decided you know what let me add shoulder pad just to give it that boss look I was still thinking but I was like the other sleeve I could not add shoulder pad that was the only thing but I was like it's fine I could add only one um, shoulder pad on one sleeve and yeah and it looked nice and I also um, did like a bias binding on the other sleeve so that was fine and guys this is how it turned out i concealed the zipper area so you can see the lining look so good everything all the seams are inside i also hemmed with about one centimeter looking so good as you can see also the knee so i fitted it and i also like um went in on the knee just to give me that fitted mermaid silhouette and guys it looks so good so you can just baste or hand stitch the shoulder pad just to give you that boss look to give it more structure and everything if you want but if you do not want it that's fine i hope you enjoyed this video guys let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed it let me know thank you